Now, what you can also do is you can import your vendors uh, from Excel or from a different uh, type of database. I'm going to go into Excel for a second. And this is how I have this, uh, this uh, sheet that's called suppliers. Notice how the field name is on the first row. And then we have the company name, the contact name, the contact title, the address, the city. So um, we're going to try to import this into QuickBooks. All right, so let me show you how we're going to do this. We're going to pick on um, QuickBooks. And then we're still in the vendor center. We got there by pick on the vendor center over here. If you say new vendor, and then you say add multiple vendors. Now the trick here is that the columns have to be in the same order that they appear in the Excel spreadsheet. So you're going to come over here and you're going to pick on customize columns. Now you can pick and choose the order that you would like them to be in. Okay. So this is going to take me a little bit of uh, going back and forth. So let's say in the suppliers table I have the company name and then the contact name and then the contact title. All right, so let's go back to QuickBooks. I'll have the, um, the vendor name, the contact. And let's say for the, for the sake of argument, the title, uh, I'll move that into the uh, old contact field. All right, so then uh, I know I'm going to use these address fields um, for the addresses in Excel. And you know, I'm moving them in the same order that the Excel spreadsheet has them in. Uh, then I know I have a phone number, but I know I have a fax. Now I can probably get rid of the rest of these. Uh, I can probably get rid of the rest of these fields. So I'm going to pick on here and uh, remove that. Remove all of these. Okay. So uh, now I'm going to click on OK. And so we have the vendor name, the contact. We're going to use this as the contact title. We have our address fields. And then the phone and the fax. Let's see how we're doing in Excel. Company the title, address, city, state, zip. All right, so now I believe the fields are in the proper order at this time. Now we're going to copy and paste from Excel. I'm going to uh, highlight these records. And notice how I'm not highlighting the field names, I'm just highlighting the, the data itself. All right from Excel. I'm going to do a copy. We'll go back to QuickBooks and you want to go to the first field of the of the next blank record. So I'm going to go right over here, and I'm going to right click on that, and then pick on paste. And notice how all the information filled in from the Excel spreadsheet, and it looks like I have the fields in the proper order. Uh, now at this point, we would uh, come down here, and we'll pick on save. And now all of those contacts have been, uh, have, all those vendors have been imported right from Excel into QuickBooks. I'm going to click on OK. Uh, I'm going to close the screen at this point. And now notice how all of the vendors are in that list at this time. All right, so that, that can save you a lot of time. The only trick there is the fields have to be in the same order as they are in the Excel spreadsheet.